how did you make yourself hurt in the old days, you know, when, when it didn't have amplifiers and all that, and you just had to play hard? Just like you know, just like you're playing now. That's now, and you can hear it in the club, though. Well, you, well, you didn't hardly ever find no guitar in no club. Oh, is that right? Where did, you, where did you used to play, picnics and... Uh, used to round parties, and, round parties, but around where they had them big, you couldn't, you couldn't hear no guitar, man, especially if you yeah, didn't have, so. if you got a, if, as long as you had three or four guitars, yeah. you could hear it pretty good, but if you mess around with a piano, you couldn't hear no guitar. Yeah, right. So they didn't ever, you didn't hardly ever see that in there. House parties and yeah. maybe, well, sometimes like Saturday night dances they'd have in the country. Yeah, I but see, they'd have that. four or five guitars, they'd you know, four or five guitars, and you could that's... hear that pretty good. Sometime a fiddle, because we used to be old guy at home. Yeah. Oh man, that guy could oh, fiddle. Okay. Ooh, okay. Man, he wouldn't lie and play on the streets. Okay. <laughs> and uh, but round, uh, you know, no band drums. You didn't hear no guitar. Yeah. They couldn't hear them. See. Yeah. Do you do you, do you remember any of the, of the of the bands in particular that you heard? You know. This I never did pay very too much attention to yeah. them because I mean most of your bands where well, they come around back in the old country and you didn't have too many bands around unless it was a minister show or something like that. I see. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Who were who were some of the uh, guitar players that that you really enjoyed or, or did you or you just you just picked out your own style? Like well, I uh, I mean when I was you know small like yeah. that I liked it. Uh, you no know, Blind Lemon, he was making. Yes. Playing guitars and Leroy Cobbs and yeah. this old Lonnie Johnson Lonnie and all Johnson, those guys yeah. and, yeah. and I just liked it that you know. Still sing, yeah. That's, yeah. Hmm. So that's why. That's a, that's a remarkable. What do you what do you call that that style? Is they used to call that stop time music. Stop time. You know, what people know. used to book dance by oh, and all right? that stuff. Yeah. Did they, did, you, did, they, did they use that a lot at the, the country dance? Oh, yeah, man. They used to cut out dance with the women. The men oh, yeah. just get to dance that man and yeah. they just have a pin on <laughs> 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 beautiful swing to it. Do you have a fellow named Willie McTell? To me, that's, at least that record once I heard, he played so, something like that, but I guess I don't think he ever became too famous. Blind Willie, he calls all kinds of names. He recorded on there. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you uh, ever find people who will, who will ask for the old stuff in the clubs? Or is it most they want more of that than this other. Is that right? Oh, man, right? they're crazy about that old style. I, that's right. Yeah, well, I was like wondering it. about that because yeah, so many they people love that. Down, they, you know, they say, well, that's old-fashioned, you know. But, you know, I thought, I mean, people still want to be old-fashioned. Yeah, they still, they, people go for that, yeah. you know, because yeah. you got a lot of young people that ain't heard much of that type that's, of music. Exactly they want to hear it now. That's right. Because it has a nice ease to it. I mean, all the monsters are so tense, it seems to me. They like that. Them stars, I done forgot how to play. I used to be. Pieces like that, I forgot how it went. There's a whole lot of music. 
Right. I done forgot how it went, cause I don't never fool with it now. Cause see, that's kind of open music. Oh, they call it open? Yeah, that's open. What is the, what is the difference in between open? You mean the others? Yeah. I mean, you got everything, uh, you make your full cold. Mm -hmm. oh. See, but in this way, you. you just, it's individual. Say, certain strain, that's why I told you tonight. See, that's what makes that kind of music have such a rhythm, because it's minus of uh, oh. the other notes that go with it, see? Yeah. You just you just picking it out of there. That's what. Yeah. That's... Did you ever have any songs you know that about disasters or any stories about people that really that a lot of that maybe your relatives told you know that went on and uh, or any you know any, any, any songs that, that sort of told a story of see a lot of times you know like Lightning Hopkins he once sang one about the the bad winter they had in, in Houston one one winter. And I was wondering if you ever heard songs like that. Oh yeah, like that guy, like the uh, this guy back. Uh, I don't know whether you remember when you was old enough, but this guy when the high water was in 1927 in the Mississippi River oh, had all that. Oh, they had all. 27 is that right? Oh, that was the biggest one. But that was the biggest one, I guess. Because the guy made a record called Barbecue Bob about yeah, Mississippi heavy right, water right. blues. Yeah, I remember. I, yeah. I didn't know which one that referred to which year of. A, I mean, that was I in 27. I know when that was. 20, is that right? That's the biggest high water they ever had in the Mississippi mm -hmm. River. That was the time, oh man, they were washing houses and everybody, the people was going down there to stay on top of houses. Just going on out. Yeah, I come out here in the war, 1945. Is that right? Where'd you come from? Mississippi. Mississippi. Jackson. Jackson. Did you just fellow named Sonny Paul Williams down there? Oh, he Lincoln had Hall records. Oh, Jackson. he had records everywhere. They tell me he did now. Yeah, well, one of them died, but there's this other fellow who's... Well, this guy did name, said just you know? uh, taken out after Sonny Boy, but the original yeah. Sonny Boy, they tell me he yeah, actually he did. Yeah, in a car wreck or something. Or something. No, he was murdered. Um, I've heard. I don't know. This is a story. I, I heard he got killed. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah, know. He died, I think, 41 or 42, something like that. Well, he made a lot of good records. That's right. Oh, yeah, this, man. Yeah, I never did, but he was, I think he was from Arkansas. Oh, he was from Arkansas, the old Sonny Boy. I don't know. I, I never did meet him. The new one is from Mississippi, I think. I don't know him. I, well, he. Yeah. Remember any, just, any uh, he made a record. Too. He made a record one time about. Uh, Sugar, sugar mama, graduated sugar. Yeah, graduated. Boy, <laughs> give a, me your yeah. graduated sugar mama. Boy, that was a tough yeah. record. Yeah, that, was. Yeah. that must have been long, about those? 36 or 37, somewhere, 35. Give me those. One of his big ones was Bluebird, Bluebird, right out of Jackson for me. Well, now that was Tommy McClennan. Yeah, McClennan made the same one. Now he was, now, well, he was from Mississippi. Now he, his home was up in Azu City. I've been there. Where, where was this? Azu City. Oh, Yazoo City. Yeah. yeah. Do you know if, if he's still alive or anything? Or no? I don't know. I don't hear him. I, I th if he, I don't know what what happened. Hmm. But uh, yeah, he had a tremendous style. He really sure did. He but he it seemed like he seemed seat. like he lost his voice. Pardon? His voice seemed like he lost his voice. On his voice was getting bad. Oh, is that? 
Yeah. Yeah, he made a record about Highway 50 Route 1. Yeah, yeah. Run right by my baby's door. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, but I was 40 miles from where he was at. Yeah. Through. Yeah, it goes right through Jackson, right straight on into Memphis. Goes into, goes into Memphis. It's all the way from New Orleans on into Chicago. Because there are quite a few songs about that highway. I well, guess. It's, it's it's it goes right straight through this bus Mississippi wide open. Yeah, right right through Jackson. Mm-hmm. Right on into Memphis, Tennessee. And so, so like Highway 40 going across. And then the 49, it comes through there too. Oh, 49, that's right. Yeah, had some songs about that too, I think. I yeah, but it... Uh, in other words, the 51 run north and south, but the uh, 49, it comes out of west, out the west, northwest, and oh, goes yeah. through Jackson and going down south, yeah. east, 49. And then the 80, yeah. uh, it comes out here someplace, don't it? I don't know where 80, it is. wait a minute, no, that's 90? And, uh... Can't think of it. Somebody said the 80 come into San Diego. I don't know if it oh, do. Yeah, maybe so. But anyway, it goes, the 80 is supposed to go from coast to coast. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it go, you can get on the 80 and go straight on into Georgia. That's right. I think 80 goes through Arizona. Maybe. Yeah, right That's on right. through That's Jackson, right. Mississippi, yeah. and on right on into yeah. Alabama. And all four of them highways crosses right in Jackson. Is that right? They even got freeway there. <laughs> over, overhead. No kidding. It'll be a good <laughs> They had that before I left there. <laughs> You know, it wasn't Jackson. No, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go this, this summer down south. I think I'm going to be hot. But <laughs> oh, hot, uh, man. <laughs> now, you talking, they people talking about hot. It don't be hot here because it don't last no time. That's, that's, that's but it's a, it's, I tell you, it's a pretty country. That's what they say. It's I mean, pretty I mean, because everything, you ain't got no that's mountains. Right. That's right. Just a few. Just to the rolling hills. Sort of, yeah, you f- just, that's the soul. Yeah. Uh, Pix, Vicksburg. It's about the hillest town I've seen in, in the yeah, south. Is that right? Vicksburg, it said right on the Mississippi River. Mm-hmm. It's about, oh, I, mean, I guess it must be about 45, 50 miles from Jackson. Right? But the 80 highway goes right through it. Mm-hmm. If you want to get on the 80, well, you can go right on. You don't have to get off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess this business about this, this trouble they have with all this mix, I mean, it's, you know, these white people down there they just well that I mean they so have that trouble down there. well that 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 come from way back I guess it does yeah. that's where that come from I guess know. after the Civil War when they started you know yeah well that that's where that come <laughs> that's where that come in at that you, you don't have too much trouble with the white people down there about nothing like that but the old rib time ones Oh, them, the, them, the guys that, that the, right? the young class people don't see that. No, but it's, it's the old, what they call them, what do you, what do you call them? Uh, you just had a name for them. <laughs> the old time, old, old rib time. Old, old rib time, you call them? Old, old rib <laughs> time. Old rib time. <laughs> well, they the one, they the one that keeps that going, but. Yeah, and it ain't bad as it used to be. Oh, is that right? But the young class people push that out. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, it's... Because, I mean, I was part of it. I was in Texas last time, but I noticed you, even in the bus station, you know, they had different places in there. Uh, I thought that was awful. Was just, well, that was it. Because, I mean, it, it was, I mean, I, I wouldn't know how I feel if I had to go to, you know, different places or anything like that. Well, I see the thing about it, the colored people was on the slave, and after they come out from under the slave, what little they, they never was uh, in that country. He still wasn't a free man. He was just a, uh, he he went from bound slave to free slave, yeah. and that's far as he could go because they was uneducated. They didn't know how to do nothing. That's that's funny. He, he didn't know. He actually didn't know. Cause I read it. I read Uncle Tom Cabin and a lot of those yeah. books. Yeah. yeah. See, those people didn't know when they when they. When they found out that they didn't have to be sold and bought, man come out and say, well, you can work wherever you want to work. Yeah. Well, then, what well, he didn't have nothing to work with. That's true. It is still left up to the white man right. to set up some kind of and deal for him to even make his own living, because he didn't know. Kind of a uh, skill, yeah. Yeah, he didn't know. So, I mean, so they set up this 
what they call it, sharecropping and like yes. that. Well, because in those days, they were, them guys was, those farmers was called slave owners. Yeah, because they just well, they went from, what it was. Like, yeah, then they went from slave owners, what they called land owners. Mm -hmm. But before then, they were slave owners. Yeah. It was more like the same thing because he's still just about. Right, right he was just about in the same shape. He didn't have nothing. That's true. That's that true. been for a white man. He didn't have nowhere to go, nowhere. To, he didn't know how to do nothing but work because that's all he had to learn. That's true. And it's just the country just not begin in that part of the country yeah, is just to begin to get away from that. That's true. The and the way they're getting away from it now is yeah. because the the last wall and, and so many people left. That's true, that's right. See, true. that's what make that. Otherwise it would have been just about as bad as it was because people yeah. didn't know. That's right. People that's wasn't right. traveling until the war went on. Yeah. I mean what few that did, like my father now, he left home when I was a baby. And right? before. Stayed up oh. in the north and reddish for World War One in Army Hall, Nebraska. Oh, is that right? What? He never did come take me. I was with his mother, my grandmother. But he ended up right back down that farm. Is that right? But what? now you take the young class of people, he leave, he won't go back. That's true. Because, because in fact, see, there's no money down there. That's, that's the trouble. There's hardly any industry or anything. See, that's what I'm talking about. You ain't got no money down there. Uh, they, don't, they don't give you nothing for work. Yeah, that's true. See? That's well, if a guy ain't never been out for Monday, well, he don't know what's out. And once he get out from under, then he don't want to go back. That's very true. See? That's, that's, that's about the way most these countries work on, like Russia, you know. Whatever the people don't know, they, they don't know. <laughs> he don't know. He don't know. Yeah. The biggest of us here in the United States, we don't know what nothing about Russia, no more what to tell us that's or true. what we read. That's true. We ain't been there. That's true. That's true. See? A lot of people say, well, how come all them people don't leave and, and go someplace? Well, yeah. I played that uh, micro boogie, but it was slower tempo. Yeah, but what, it was what did he think of when he, when he did that? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now that was played just like that. But I never did learn to sing it. Nobody, ain't nobody sang that but him. <laughs> I think he probably forgot it by now too. I like that song, you know what he said? Oh, I'm going back home where, where they raise hog and corn or something. Or except, something like that. Except he changed right over and went over to his, he sings so much about, you know, come, come, come back from the baby. He, he almost ends every number with it. <laughs> I don't know much about his piano. He just picked that up. Yeah, when I first met him, he couldn't play no piano. Oh. I don't know much about his piano. <laughs> but I know he can play a harp. Yeah, he's a good harp player. Also, I like his singing when he, when he keeps his voice down, but when he starts shouting, he loses his voice. Think, well, he, so. uh, well, he's sitting just like all the rest of you. He always, uh, you figure when you get in one of these, you got to blast. Yeah, that's, that's the we trouble. We had trouble that's with him trouble. about blowing out. He notices if he just go ahead and play, he <laughs> covers that mic. Oh, he just, I used to slip and cut the mic down. Oh, is that it? But I want to get me a, a good blues in this. A good slow blues in that, that's what I want. This type of music, you have to, you make your own beat. I guess so, yeah. You do, you see, you yeah. make your own beat. You don't have to worry about a drummer or anybody setting the beat for you. No, you set your own beat. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what I like about you're just playing guitar because I think you you sound so much freer rather than when you Thank you. 
Dr. Smith Douglas. When did the, when did the, the guitar sort of take over? Didn't they used to play banjo that in the old <laughs> used, to like have, used to have quite a few banjo players. They went out too. Yeah. Banjos and the next thing is going out now look like it's trumpets. They, they I know, that's uh, kind of sad to see. All, they all got saxes now. Yeah, know. saxophone. Well, they all yeah. always had, but I don't know. If, yeah. What happened to trumpets? Like Guitars, I said, pushed them out. That's probably true. Did you hear a lot of mandolin players? Or? We used to have a lot of them. You don't see yeah, them that's, anymore. That's, anymore. True, that's true. I like the sound of mandolin. I think they're fine. They're kind of a sharp cutting one, you know? They, but you know, hardly ever we'll eat That's too many of them food with mantles in the mood. But I like them cold, some of them guys make on them bandages. Oh, That's man, true. That's true. Pretty cold yeah. made that. Have you, have you ever played banjo? Never have. There was round one, I guess, if I had been out of 92. Any, any church music at all or spirituals or anything? I never like did that. try it, nothing. Very little did I. Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. That's just one thing, you know, so often that you hear that a lot of spiritual singers, they won't sing blues, you know, like, like Mahalia, she's uh, I mean, it's just like to sing blues, but sometimes the other way around, other people sing, other sing blues. But some of them well, did actually, sing the people, actually a good songster, yeah. uh, if he, if he's uh, took singing, a uh, good song is supposed to sing anything. Yeah, that's probably true. It's supposed to sing everything, blues yeah. or anything, but you take most of them church people. Yeah. They don't want to sing. They don't want to sing. <laughs> See, that's, that's, now that's another thing that people didn't hear from back down there. The church, they, it's church crazy. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> oh, they church crazy. <laughs> church crazy. Well, I mean, I don't fight churches. There's nothing wrong with them, but. But they sort of get glued if. if if one preacher has a big power, oh a man, they, ooh, that's yeah. I don't know that that's another thing they got from way back. They just yeah. church crazy, mm-hmm. and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I ain't never seen that much good they ever done. <laughs> Not to help the race of people. That's, that's true. Might help you when you did, but yeah. I, I agree with you because I think the church people just keep everything the same. You know, they never. Uh, well, I think that come from. Uh, for the colored people, that comes from slavery time too, because at one time they, they, they didn't allow them to have churches. That's, that's they true, said, that's true. Uh, And then I guess the only hope at that time was to believe. Well, them. see, they, they, the white people, they had churches, but they didn't allow the colored people to have them, and they they called us, they would slip around and hear the white people singing and praying, and they yeah. started trying to do it, and they, of course, they had to, the books say they have to get in the chimney corner or, go down in the woods somewhere and not leave and let them hear them. But it worked out uh, why they let them have the churches. Yeah. And uh, they said the reason they did that why they wasn't learning the, the human being anything. And the human being has got to be learned something. If it don't, he'd go nuts. That's true. Right? Well, they had a bunch of those guys, you know, slaves. They'd have 15 or 20 or 25 with me and you working together and, and uh, come in this evening and got mad. I'd like to cut your head off. Because I didn't have any fear. Yeah, yeah. So then they decided that they would uh, teach him fear. Mm-hmm. They we got to learn him that's something, true. but we don't want him to know no political. We don't yeah. want him to have no education, so we got to learn him something. Yeah, that's probably true. So some smart guys, well, he wants to, some of them trying to serve God and have yeah. churches. Let's let him go that way. <laughs> so they rigged yeah, up the churches. Then the slave owners would say that, uh, they went building them churches, yeah. make him pay for it. Yeah. Back down on the backside, slaves. That, uh, that is can, Tony. What is that can, can he? Refer to? Well, this guy drank can he? Oh, is, is that a that a liquor? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah that's a oh, drink. I, didn't know that. yeah, I see guy get drunk off. Oh, oh. <laughs> the guy who made that Tommy Johnson, he made that record in 1927, 28. Okay. <clears throat> he don't man. I ever see whiskey wouldn't make him drunk. Okay. It had to be can he the alcohol. I see him drink a pint of cone whiskey, oh. and didn't stop. I seen him catch a man's hand okay. with one hand and open up, they bought him a pint of whiskey. Right. And he turned it up. When he turned it down, they threw the bottle away. You just in one, one gulp, you didn't stop. He got up and went on downtown. Told me he need something to get drunk off. I said, good God from him. I was, well, I was trying to play guitar too. Yeah. 
And I said, good God, what kind of in, inside of that man got? He wasn't no bigger than that. Okay. But that guy could sing. Woo. <laughs> and he could drink straight alcohol. That's how, that can make you blind, though. I guess it will. <laughs> Some kind of. sing in them tunes. They used to play the blues in that stuff. 